Miserable weather at Welford Road to greet the Dragons, debut in this season's Anglo-Welsh, and they found the Tigers in no more hospitable mood. The early action gave little indication of the fireworks to follow, but a penalty allowed Freddie Burns to give Leicester a lead that they soon turned into a landslide. Newport Gwent played some part in their own downfall, their handling in clear contrast to Leicester's, as Burns' break created the platform for a thrilling opening try. Owen Williams kicked through, retained and returned superbly by Adam Thompson for the centre to roll across the line for his first touchdown of the season. They weren't to know it at this stage, but this was as good as the Dragons' afternoon was going to get. The collapse scrum allowed Geraint Rhys-Jones to kick them onto the scoreboard. But that merely provoked the Tigers into a stunning onslaught for the rest of the first 40. With the forwards in control, the backs could create havoc. Thompson on the end of a lovely move to score the try that his earlier effort deserved. And two more scores before the break turned the contest into something of an exhibition. Lock Graham Kitchener combining a nifty sidestep with an equally stylish offload to prop Greg Bateman. And Leicester secured the bonus point with another try before half-time that summed up the golf between the two sides. Burns kicked into space, and while the visitors' defence hesitated a bit and then dawdled some more, the fly half appeared as if by magic, and it was 27 points to three at the turnaround. The Welsh side had to get better, and they did, helped a little by a yellow card for Leicester lock Harry Wells, but they couldn't turn their improvement into points and were undone twice more late on. Ellis Genge driven over for try number five, and after the Dragons had prop Leon Brown sin binned, Jack Roberts charged through a defence that had clearly had enough to score his first try for the club. A tough introduction for the Dragons then, but this is a strong Leicester side that's clearly taking this season's Anglo-Welsh very seriously.